Through my pilgrimage across YouTube and the greater internet, I have seen a wide range of people building these cordwood homes, including the infamous Chris Harbour. So what actually are they? And the big question, are they an effective wall material? Because to live sustainably, ultimately we want to minimize our unwanted heat losses. Firewood is a great example of cordwood, and cordwood basically just means that the wood has been cut into uniform lengths. Cordwood construction is a natural building method in which these short bits of wood are stacked crossways to build a wall. To keep them in place, mortar or cob is typically used, and it's also important to note that wood used should be soft and not decomposed. Wood will usually account for about 40 to 60% of the wall. It's been estimated that the first cordwood homes were built in the early 1800s, although a not so good sign is that those houses are no longer standing. In 1970s, cordwood had a bit of a resurgence due to the increased focus toward sustainable lifestyles, but even more recently, cordwood homes have gained attention on mainstream media due to their uniqueness. So what are the reasons for using cordwood? Cordwood construction is economical and makes sense when you have a lot of wooden logs locally available and at a low cost. The good thing about it is that the logs don't need to be a fixed size, which means any off cuts of wood, which would otherwise be classified as waste, can be utilized. Aesthetically, I think we can pretty much all agree that the walls look pretty epic. However, there are some downsides to using cordwood too. The largest issue you get is that the wood expands and contracts with humidity, whereas the binding agent of mortar or carb doesn't, or at least not as much. And as you can imagine, this can lead to some pretty big problems. Because of this, people with cordwood walls tend to experience drafts where air has infiltrated these small gaps from expansion or contraction. Not only that, but some people have experienced some serious structural problems as a result of this problem, and that could make it very difficult to get planning permission for a cordwood home. Secondly, the end grain of the wood is exposed and this part of the wood is particularly susceptible to rot and, and insect infestations and whilst you could seal the wall sealing up the wall might lead to concerns about a build-up of moisture and consequently a build-up of rot lastly cordwood construction is also extremely labor intensive and because of the labor time if you're hiring people to do the cordwood construction for you it's very cost prohibitive so let's get back to the original question is it actually an effective wall material for minimizing heat losses so technically it could be. If you live in a climate with a very low variance in humidity, you are less likely to suffer problems associated with the expansion and contraction of the wooden logs. And if that is the case, the presence of cordwood in the structure actually turns into an upside. This is because wood has air pockets within its cell structure, which effectively make its cells synonymous to a cavity wall, and which ultimately allows it to have 10 times the insulation value of concrete and 400 times the insulation value of steel. So to conclude, cordwood could be an effective sustainable building material for you, depending on where you live. But for most of us, there are better alternatives. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to head to some of my other videos for similar content.